Well, I got the snow blower up on its side. I'm going to show you what part to grease if you have a snow blower just like this or similar to it. Um, first of all, so that it is going to leak some gas out of there. You see it's dripping out of the bowl. I got a cl clip out of the gas hose. And if I, I realize that these motors don't have an air filter. See, uh, if I can get to the picture there, right up under there, right there, where you can stick your finger up and it just sucks straight air. So, because in the winter time there's not much dust and stuff floating around, so probably don't really need one, but starting on the first pull with for the compass, that's pretty good. But the compasses are good for snow engines and they're good for sport engines. That's what they're good for mostly. So, if you take this cover off right there that goes underneath of your snow blower and your gears turn here and you see how it's all pink and down in there where it's spinning I put grease normally I've been putting oil on it but this time I bought some grease and grease will last longer so I greased it up right there and now it's just coated in grease when it spins and then that shaft that goes through here that thing right there moves back and forth when you shift your gears watch See how it moves. So I put grease on it. And then this is your brake. Right here, this thing. It spins on there somehow. I don't really know how. I do need almost to need a new belt though, hunt one. The drive. The auger belt's pretty good still. So it's just the drive belt that's wearing down. But yeah, I'm glad I put some grease on there this time so that you can grease that up. Zip her back down here. It's a heavy sucker. Oh. And then while I did it, I take my belt covers off and I oil up the pulleys and the tensioners right there. So, so you can see all that dust. That's usual on a new belt or a belt that comes with one. But see, the, the auger belt's got ripples in it, not ripples. So it gets better grip when it spins. The auger belt's in good shape still. It's just a drive belt that's a little ate up. So we'll see how she'll do. I'm not gonna really change yet. And I'm not even gonna change the oil because the oil is still pretty good. Nice and clear. So we're just gonna let the oil go. And I did I didn't realize that I had a broken shear pin. It was this one right here. These things will break first before any other part. See how they have clay in them? If you like hit a rock or something, they snap. Either they'll snap or the... I don't know if I broke something because we have a cement drive, so I don't see how it could have got rocks in it anywhere. Oh, unless it's over at the other house. But they have a little pin that goes in the back of them. Maybe that fell out and it just fell out. So, and then these two, this one and this one were jammed together the opposite way. And then this little black hole right here, I just first time I just realized that every other year it takes oil. You just take a little oil and squirt some down in there. So just a little gear in there. It comes from the main shaft over to the side. Just pop that off with a flat screwdriver. Squirt some. I just put dirty oil in it. So I didn't realize it had something on there like that, but it does. So did that. And now I'm going to put my covers back on once I lube them up. And then clay Windex the covers on there. And then we'll be good for winter. We'll be part, we'll park it again. First heavy snow we get, it'll be ready to go. Let me know if you have one like this.